Hello guys, this is Cody Menchaca with MFE Inspection Solutions. Today we're going to take a look at the Elios 3 by Flyability, a confined space drone that I think is a really unique product that we have in our lineup. As promised, the Elios 3, the third generation from the Elios lineup with new features, some new redesign, and some really cool stuff to see. Things like redesigned lighting system with now 16K lumens rather than 10. You now have a LiDAR puck integrated in the back for capabilities when it comes to point clouds, as well as a port backside integration. You can now have future sensors for open expansiveness of the product. Alongside with that, a cage redesign for better impact tolerance. What you may see right off the bat is a total redesign of the cage overall. What this allows is a key feature to have unobstructed view of the forward facing camera. This allows a 180 degree unobstructed of the cage inside of what you may be viewing or what you may record or what images you may get on the back end. What you see here is the new Elios 3 remote control. See the design is quite different than prior. The main difference right off the bat you can see it's not, it's not a DJI remote. It's not utilizing Lightbridge 2 like Elios 2 did. Um, it's actually a, a built-in remote controller built by Flyability they brought in-house. You can better support it and better utilize it. Um, what's really cool and unique about this is actually has longer range depending on the environment. So as you may know in confined space range and transmission is everything. So this allows better range in different various amounts of confined space environments. Um, what it also utilizes is a large Samsung tablet with cockpit three built in. So you have a larger surface of viewing area because you're now looking at things real time, right? So you need to look at maps real time as well as the video that's utilizing your scene uh, on the spot. So the main difference on the Elios 3, you can see right here is the light out puck. This really opens up what the Elios 3 can do. So it capturing at 300 points per second. Um, not only does this capture data for point cloud modeling standpoint, but also for navigation purposes. So it really keeps this rock and steady. The predecessor of Elios 2 is that it leverages the LiDAR puck to, to know its space. So it's building the world around it as it flies. So this gives you rock stability like you would be flying an external drone in the internal environment. But not only does, does it capture data from the navigation and point cloud purposes, but also it continuous scan. So as you're flying, no matter what, the LiDAR puck is going around and around capturing data points at the 300 points per second perspective, the entire flight. So as you're flying, it's constantly capturing. But the point cloud is actually leveraging is slam-based technology. So traditionally you may hear of LiDAR technology or scanning technology based around terrestrial scanning. That's gonna be quite more accurate because it's stationary what SLAM does, you can actually capture as you move. So it's not gonna be as accurate as terrestrial scanning, but it can be accurate in most cases when it comes to what this is trying to achieve. Not only is it capturing, but also navigating. What a lot of people don't understand, all drones don't need GPS. This is how the Helios flies indoors. It leverages sensors around it, as well as a puck to maintain its space in the environment. That's how you get the stabilization. GPS can't penetrate confined space. GPS can't penetrate storage things. It can't penetrate a mine. What this does, it leverages the sensors on it to build a world around it as it flies. So overall, the LiDAR puck allows it to know where it's been, where it's going, and how to get back. Yeah, so big changes in the battery. It's now smart batteries. Uh, you don't have the traditional, like the Elios 2, where you gotta plug in and, and read the meter. Um, it's actually everything's built into one. It's it, they've done a great design on this. I really like is LED indicators. So you know now you can tell your charge status or your battery status just by LED light. What's really cool about this as well is that you have a slide and lock-in mechanism for the Elios 3. So on the back side here, the Elios 3, it's actually a slide in and a lock mechanism. So basically you slide into the bottom of the Elios, then you just lock here on the back end and it locks it into place. Then when you want to release it, you just unlock. I think that's a cool key feature from the Elios 3, it's the Elios 2. This battery allows about 9.5 minutes of flight time. So with the LiDAR puck overall, with the, without the puck, the detached puck is about 12 minutes of flight time. So what's really cool about this is that when it's locked in and you're flying, you actually have a full integrated health management system in the UI that you can actually keep track of not only your charges, 
but your life cycle of the battery overall and the status so if there's any error it'll pop up on the interface of the tablet under remote control. The whole redesign of the lighting system is actually pretty cool overall. So not only does it offer um, an increase in lumens from 10 to 16,000 lumens, but also it's smart. It actually follows where the camera forward facing is as well. So if it's looking down, it looks down with it. If it's looking up, it looks up with it and so on and so on. But it, what's also really cool about it's oblique light. So it's lighting at an angle. So it actually penetrates the dust. So it helps cast shadows. So what this helps does is not only penetrate the dust, but also helps cast shadows and things that you need to look at depth. So cracks, any types of pitting. Um, so this allows you to make terminations real time, actually picking up those things you wouldn't see otherwise. So what I think is a really genius idea that Flyability did is open up the backside port. So what this allows is feature integrations of various sensors based on use cases. So right now you use a LiDAR, but endless counts of sensors that you may be able to use in the future, like gas meters or, you know, gas detection sensors. I think it's important things for the ecosystem, especially drones, to, to open that port side to allow those future integrations. So then you don't have to keep buying the next version. The next version is coming out every single month. It's actually a platform that can be built upon. Um, so I'm very excited to see what comes in the future with this open port system, iFlyAbility. What I think is really special about the Helios 3 and what Flyability's done is, is create a, a piece of equipment where you can take people out of harm's way. 